we're gonna separate the picture here into two, one with just the background being the galaxy, and then one that's called a star mask, which is just all the stars in a picture. We're then gonna work on the stars separately from the background. Then we're gonna combine the two again into one picture. At the end, we go up to image processing, star processing, and we click the star net star removal. I recommend you do this on a unstretched image, but you select the pre-stretched linear image here because this allows you to get the unstretched version of both of them out so you can just stretch them manually separately afterwards. You also want to generate star mask. Click execute here. So here we have our star mask. First thing we're going to do is we're going to stretch it. And I'm just going to apply a very quick stretch here. I'm not going to be too aggressive. What we really want to focus on is these elongated stars. What we're going to do is in the image processing, star processing, we are going to be using what's called a full synthesis. What the full synthesis does is it essentially recalculates what the stars were supposed to look like. But first we need to tell the program where the stars are. So we can click the gear icon here right next to the full resynthesis. Click the little button here with the three stars and there we go. It has now selected all the stars that it could detect with the default settings we have here. Notice this, all those elongated stars down here have not been selected. Now why haven't they been selected? Because there is a roundness threshold. That's basically it says if they're more elliptical than this threshold, they're not going to be counted as stars and they're not going to be included. So for us, we need to have all these things included. So we could probably lower this to let's say 25 click detect. Look at that. Now it actually caught a lot more stars than it had before. 